folks, welcome you to the, our first ever series in Koma. Today we'll be discussing the cycle theory. And we have um, shared this in, in two different classes. So in this first class, we'll discuss four properties. In the next class, we'll discuss four properties. Because um, in cycle theory, we have eight main properties we need to understand. But when solving questions, sometimes we have to apply some other geometric properties to solve problems. So let's begin. The first property we want to discuss is that if you have a chord that suspends angle at the circumference, irrespective of where the circum which part of the circumference touches, those angles are equal. So from the diagram, we have that the chord PQ suspends an angle. An angle at different places, and with the angle as the label x, y, z, because of this property, we have that all these angles are equal. So take note. First, you have to have the same chord suspending the angle at the circumference, and then, you know, irrespective of where it touches the circumference, we have that the angles are equal. Now, the second property is that if we have a chord suspending an angle at the center. And that same chord, suspending the angle at the circumference, any part of the circumference, irrespective of where it is, but it should be in the same direction. So you can see that um, from this diagram we have, this chord AB, suspending the angle at O, so O is the center, then suspending an angle under angle D. The relationship between D and E is that E is twice D, twice D gives you E. So this is um, our second property. And our third property shows that if you have a chord that subtends angles at opposite sides at the circumference, then those angles are supplementary. That is, the sum of those angles um, is, equal, is equal to 180. Now, the fourth property we'll be discussing is that if you have a diameter, a diameter, then the angle of the diameter subtends at the circumference, irrespective of where it is, it should be. 90 degrees. We could see that this has a little um, similarity to property 2. Because now we have that the diameter, the angle of the diameter is 180. So up that angle gives you 90 degrees. So when you forget about this property, you can just remember property 2 and it will help you to uh, remember. So now let's try some examples. This is the first example we will solve. So look at this geometric figure carefully. So in this diagram, we have to find x. So what property can we use? So we can see that this diagram doesn't necessarily have one property, the one direct property we can use. So I'm going to solve this question. So first, we need to find angle BOD. We have to find angle BOD. Now for property two, we have that the angle subtended at the center is twice the angle uh, is twice the angle of the circumference. So we apply that. So we have that the angle BOD is is twice the, the angle of the that is circumference that's 62. Then um, the answer is 124 degrees. So now we need to find the the for the value of x because the value of x is what the question requires. So, what do we know? We know that the sum of angles about a point is 360. So, we apply that fact. Now, as we apply, we have that x plus 124 will be equal to 360. And this gives us x to be equal to 236. Now, this is one example that we, have, we could realize that we didn't use one property. And we didn't even use a property or properties in what we discussed. So what, as you solve the question, you have to look at the questions very carefully. Think about it, ask yourself, what does it mean? How will I approach this question? This will help you to be able to analyze the question very carefully and know the properties to use. Let's try another example. Let's look at problem two. Look at this geometric figure carefully. This time we may ask to find the angle x. Okay? So 
as this geometric figure is in your mind, now let's see how we can solve this problem. Because this doesn't look like um, we can use directly the properties we discussed. Now, first, we need to find angle AOC. Then we can find angle ABC. Like we said earlier, the sum of angles about a point is 360. So, as part of it is 220, the other part will be 140. Once we have that, we now find the angle angle ABC. And with angle ABC, we use the property property 2 as discussed earlier. We know that angles at the center is always half, it's always twice the angle at the circumference. So once we, we have we have the one at the center, we divide into two. Then we can get the angle at the circumference. And so angle ABC gives us 70. Now we need to find the other angle angle X. What we know? We know that from property 3, we have that if you have a chord that subtends angles as opposite sides at a complex circumference, they are supplementary. That means the sum is 180. So we apply this property. Now, we, we, we have that the sum of S and 70 gives us 180. So this means that X is 110. And from this two, we could see that we apply some properties that are not in the four properties we discussed earlier. Now, let's move on to our final um, question. Now, in this question, we'll be given one angle, and we have to find angle DAC. We have to find angle DAC. How do we solve this question? First, we know that Angles subtended by, by the diameter is always 90 degrees. So angles subtended by the diameter is always 90 degrees at the circumference. So with this, that means we have two we have two angles given. We have angle DCA and we have angle ABC. Now as we have angle DCA and ABC, we know that the sum of angles in the triangle is equal to what? 180 degrees. So we sum the angle 90 and angle 35. Th then we find the difference from 180. And that gives us the angle we need. So this way we end the first series. And in the next meeting, in our next meeting, we'll discuss other properties. And because it's our first meeting, we just did four properties. And during our next meeting, once we do more properties, we can now have a different questions to solve. But remember, you can always leave your comments. And if you have more questions, you can reach me via email as shown on the screen. But for you to increase your understanding, you have to solve more questions. So once you have you solve more questions, you have more problems that we can share. Thank you very much for your time. All right. And I also encourage you to like and subscribe to my channel. Once you subscribe, all the other series will be available to you and you'll get a notification as well. So we meet next time. Bye-bye.